Hello everyone, we already know the nervous system consists of two parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord, whereas the peripheral nervous system consists of the nerves and ganglia outside of the brain and spinal cord. So we see the nerves in the peripheral nervous system connect the central nervous system to the sensory organs and to the other organs of body, muscles, blood vessels and glands. We also learned that the PNS is involved in both the voluntary and involuntary activities. You know the section of peripheral nervous system that helps in controlling autonomous activities of organs is known as autonomous nervous system. So it controls organs that act involuntarily and regulates body functions like heartbeat, breathing, digestion, urination, pupillary response etc. For example, autonomous nervous system coordinates with medulla oblongata to control our heartbeat, breathing, vasomotor activity etc. When you are scared, your heartbeat increases, right? Maybe the pupil of your eyes dilate too. Certain nerves of autonomous nervous system initiate fight or flight responses that is the way in which the body reacts to stress or danger. These nerves form the sympathetic system or sympathetic nervous system you can say. The sympathetic system is formed by the chain of ganglia on either sides of the vertebral column and the associated nerves. Whereas certain nerves of autonomous nervous system regulate organ and gland functions during rest. These nerves of autonomous nervous system form the parasympathetic system. So the parasympathetic system is formed by the nerves arising from the ganglia of the brain and the posterior part of the spinal cord. You know this system is sometimes called the rest and digest system. Why? This is because the parasympathetic system conserves energy as it slows the heart rate, increases intestinal and gland activity and relaxes spinster muscles in the gastrointestinal tract. So we see the nerves in the autonomous nervous system are divided into two categories based on where it originates from that is sympathetic and parasympathetic. There are various functions performed by the different nerves in the autonomous system. So we see the autonomous nervous system controls the vital functions in our body. To sum up what we learned today, the section of peripheral nervous system that helps in controlling autonomous activities of the internal organs is known as autonomous nervous system. It consists of two divisions, parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system. First, the parasympathetic system. It regulates organ and gland functions during rest. You may also say that it controls activities that decrease energy expenditures, that is, energy is conserved. The parasympathetic system is formed by the nerves arising from the ganglia of the brain and the posterior part of the spinal cord. And the second type is sympathetic system. It initiates fight or flight responses, that is, the way in which the body reacts to stress or danger. You may also say that it controls activities that increase energy expenditures. The sympathetic system is formed by the chain of ganglia on either sides of the vertebral column and the associated nerves. 
So that was all about the autonomous nervous system. Bye bye.